Hi there, my name is Greg from RV Haulers, and this is what I call a pre-delivery inspection video. Shortly, I'm going to be hopping in this RV hauler and delivering it to Lisa and Mike. And the purpose of this video is just to show my customers what we put together for them, just to make sure they have a chance to review everything and make sure that it looks exactly as they expect before I hit the road and bring it to them. If you'd like to dive in and see what Lisa and Michael have designed with me at RV Haulers, join me in this video. I just returned from another road test, pulling my 26,000 pound New Horizon Majestic. That one's a little bit heavy. It's around 26,000 pounds and it's got 6,000 pounds of pin weight pushing down on the air ride hitch. And I'm happy to report that the, this RV hauler continues to perform flawlessly, uh, perfectly, wonderfully. I don't know how many other words I can describe it, but it's ready for my customers. What we've done in this build is we're taking a phased approach. You can see that we do not have a bed on the back right now. We've singled this Volvo 670 mid. So this axle is about in between where the two other axles were before. We brought the rearmost axle forward. We kept the frame factory. I haven't added any frame to this. So the plan is Lisa and Michael are going to take their they, they got a brand new fifth wheel waiting for them at the dealership. They're going to go grab that and they're going to go traveling. And they will spend some time with their RV hauler and just figure out what they want to do back there, what they need for storage, if they want to take a, a grocery getter or if they're going to maybe uh, flat tow or lots of options. You can have a chase vehicle. But for now, this RV hauler meets the four criteria that I have for all my RV haulers. Number one, it's safe, right? It's over engineered for what we're towing engineered for way more it's I've tried my best and the guys in the shop we've tried our best to make it reliable we've really gone through things carefully with a lot of attention to detail we've been doing things with an eye towards number three longevity we whenever we look at something we want to make sure you know if, we're, if we've got a little airline that we've taken out during the singling phase and we look at it we're like oh there's a little rub mark there well I'm gonna put a new one on so we've had that attention towards longevity and of course we've looked towards performance. Now, I wanna share with you, these don't always go perfect. This is a really good example where sometimes there's little gremlins hiding in these trucks, which even you know the, the previous owner might not know. I don't buy these trucks from auctions, I buy them from owner operators wherever I can so that I've got some history. And this RV hauler had a little gremlin. And what we discovered was there was two issues. We found in our testing, we, we, we singled it, we took it to Volvo, they did all the programming for a single rear axle, we took it away, did a whole bunch of final work to it, and in our testing, it came up with an error. And it took quite some time to find it. We found one wire that was flaky. Ugh. And it was one of those intermittent things where you would drive, it, like it didn't show up for a while and then you drive some more and then it would show up. I love it when I find the gremlins. <laughs> That's my job is I don't like gremlins that appear for my customers. So I'm really glad, I, I'm saddened that I did find it and it delayed our delivery. We had some plans on our delivery, didn't meet them, but I'm glad when I found that gremlin and then we were able to dig into it even more with Volvo. And here's what's cool is, the second Gremlin, um, we actually, uh, the Volvo dealership that I've worked with for the last 12 years, uh, the master mechanic who runs that shop as well was unable to figure it out. He engaged Volvo corporate to delve into it a little bit further. And you know what? It turned out that it was the software on the Volvo computer that had a glitch. So they were programming this truck. We were taking it away. Drive, 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 drive. Oh. Error code comes up, go back, they analyze with the computer, oh, it's not there, now it's there, not there, now it's there. And Volvo engineers were scratching the head and finally Volvo wrote a new piece of software for programming my RV hauler. Ha, got it. I've been 
awfully careful. I've been pulling my trailer a bunch of times and I feel ready now to deliver this to Lisa and Michael. Okay, I'm telling you uh, maybe too much, but this is what I do. The details matter. And these are, I just wanna share with you sometimes how these conversions do go. Okay, I'm gonna grab the camera. We're gonna get a little bit closer. This is the factory frame. It, you can see it just came down to here. And what we've done is because Lisa and Michael are gonna be driving this for a period of time and they wanna have pride in their ride, we have sandblasted this frame and painted it. It looks good, even up close. We've installed our 30,000 pound capacity air ride hitch down in between the frame rails. That's made by ET Senior. Uh, sorry, by Pop-Up Towing Products. The name of the hitch is the ET Senior. There's a couple of other good products on the market as well. You can look at Comfort Ride. You can look perhaps at AirSafe. All of them have advantages, disadvantages, but I consider this one of the top two. Comfort Ride is a good one to consider as well. What we've also done, they've got a beautiful trailer they're gonna be pulling. We've made sure we've installed some beautiful fenders. These are commercial, right? This is all steel, stainless, mud flaps to within four inches of the ground so that that road debris is not gonna be heading back and hitting the brand new trailer. I'll get you even closer. Okay, oh, dirty bird. Uh, sorry about that. What we've done is we've taken some of our used aluminum decking that I had in the yard. We acid etched all these pieces that you see so that they all look nice and clean and bright. Reinstalled them on the frame. You'll see we've got our uh, camera watching that hitch so it makes it a lot easier to hook up. <sighs> and I'll take you inside next and show you what we've done there. Now I realize it might be a little bit hard to see. I'm backlit from the sunshine coming through the front windshield, but I'll try to zero in and show you what we're looking at here. We've installed our monitoring system for the hitch right flush in the dash. It's got a little bit of a shroud around it. I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see what that looks like. So it's looking at the hitch right now. We're looking out the back view. You can see the little white line. Hopefully uh, you probably got a glare, but it at least shows you how it's installed inside the dash. And let's go look at what's above in the dash. So what we've done is we were looking at down below the camera, the, the hitch monitoring system. Now we're right above it. And I've got my tire pressure monitoring for Lisa and Michael. So all of the sensors have been programmed for temperature, high, high pressure, low pressure. So all that's been done. This is a keyed solution. So when you turn the key on, this turns on. We've got CB radio. We've got also four outlets for charging your cell phones. All of them are two amp. And, and if you look here on the dash, I've got a speed GPS aware dash camera. We're in a little bit of a litigious society these days and sometimes people are doing things in front of us. So it's really nice to have a view of what's going on out front in, in front of us in the windshield. Nice wide field of view, wide aspect camera and it records everything and as well. That's tied into the ignition so that it turns on and off while we're driving and turns off while it's at night. You can, if you want, it's, the way I've set this up is I have it plugged into this outlet. Over here is a outlet that is powered 24 seven. So if you want to use it as a security solution, even when the truck is off, say at night, you can move this outlet over here, or this, sorry, this power supply over here, and it'll always be on. This is switched, this is unswitched. The inside of this RV hauler has been carefully detailed. We've spent, truthfully, a couple days going through all the nooks and crannies inside this RV hauler and making sure, it, it of course, it started out as a non-smoking truck, which is hard to find in the first place, but uh, it's non-smoking, well, really well detailed. And the last piece that I'll show you is our brake controller uh, is installed right here. So we have a good field of view when you're sitting in the driver's position. You can see how your brake controller is performing. You can do you've got a little squeezy arm here for doing your tug test. Oh, and, 
everything is done. I'm looking forward to delivering this RV hauler for my customers, Lisa and Michael. I also thank them for their patience, for giving me the chance to make sure their RV hauler was done right and carefully. And I'm looking forward to actually meeting them for the first time. I feel honored and blessed, if I may use that word. The people continue throughout these 12 years to trust me to build their RV haulers and make sure that they get to them and that they're safe, they're going to last a long time, they're reliable, and they perform really well. Greg from RV Haulers, thank you for watching this video. And if you would like to see a comparison video, I'm going to put that together for you. So I'm going to compare this RV hauler that has no bed to one with, longer, shorter, drawn boxes, moose bumpers. I'm going to put together a video that does a beautiful comparison. I'll have that available to you in the next short while. So please subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in seeing more details about these RV haulers, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell button, and I hope you'll watch another video in the future. Please drive safe and stay happy and healthy in these challenging times. I'm Greg from RV Haulers. Thanks for watching.